become uh, one of the icon characters. He's been out there, he's been exposed enough that he's uh, like a Frankenstein Dracula. I was a fan of the original one when I could finally watch it all the way through. It was so scary. I mean, I put it through with The Exorcist as the two top scariest movies. The original is uh, has its place in the Hall of Fame of uh, horror movies. Uh, it's a seminal picture, uh, imitated but never matched. And it really had a traumatizing effect on me. Uh, I was a little bit disturbed probably for a few days afterwards. Um, and I don't really get scared in scary movies that often. I mean, I have a high tolerance for like gore and, and all that kind of stuff, and that's not really what scares me, but something about Texas Chainsaw Massacre really creeped me out. There were a few great films that, that, that really caught my interest as a young person, and this was one of them. It totally blew my mind. Uh, you know, I had gone to a Yale, I was a smart guy, I'd seen a lot of horror movies, I mean, I had every reason to look for the zippers and kind of say, ah, this isn't real, but you know what, it was so good, it was so different, uh, the soundtrack, the cinematography, the images, the acting, the costumes, everything about it was mind-blowing. Because of the disadvantages financially, and it had to be shot on 16 millimeter. They just made the decision that they were going to make it look like a documentary. So that all that did was add to the realism of the film. We were a bunch of kids playing with the chainsaw and hoping we got it on camera. Thank goodness, you know, some of our accidents didn't happen off camera. It was a pretty deadly film and it was um, extremely real because we were very young. We had very little money for any kind of budget. And so we kind of improvised our props and our sets and anything we had to do. Toby was very interesting to work with. I had never worked on a movie before. And it was only later when I worked on a bunch of other films and realized what incompetent, incompetence was did I understand how professional the original Chainsaw crew was uh, and how disciplined the crew was. The character Leatherface really is, I think, starts with the name Leatherface. It's such a weird name. And uh, the idea that he would uh, take, uh, I don't know if he was the first monster to ever like, just actually carve people's faces off and, and wear them as his own face, personality, mask. I, I don't know what he was up to. Uh, you know, that is just so frightening. And the fact that he would use a chainsaw is just, you know, I mean, it's, uh, it's like the perfect horror tool. The mask is the heart of who Leatherface is in the original movie. Uh, it is the expression of what he's feeling or what he's doing now. Uh, this was one of the few points that Toby did make to me about the, you know, Leatherface. Uh, everything is expressed in the mask. Leatherface is, isn't an evil figure. He's, uh, he's a tragic figure. And um, he's having a bad day as well. I mean, where did... Where do, they, where, where do these people keep coming from? I mean, they keep showing up at the door, and uh, and he's, uh, he's, uh, he's he's terrifying. I think everybody wanted to use this movie to step up to you know a career, um, and me, I would think of the movie Two Thousand Maniacs, and I thought this movie is going to be a success in my mind if. Like Two Thousand Maniacs, uh, five years down the road, the few hardcore fans remember it. I discovered after about eight years of the film being in release, it kept Chainsaw kept coming back again, kept coming back, and and made your first run release for about eight years. And uh, and I, I I think it occurred to me at that point that that the film was going to stick around a long time. I think one of the main reasons it connected is because well unlike today we didn't show that much we really didn't if you go back and view the texas chainsaw massacre today you're not going to see much blood when chainsaw was released the feedback would come to me how, how absolutely gory the, the film is i mean like it like it like uh, uh the, this was pre pre slasher film pre uh, you know high high prosthetics but also, I think what makes it so scary is what you didn't see. And it's also that roaring of the chainsaw that drives you crazy. And that crazy girl that doesn't shut up in the background, which was me. And it really disturbed me, because I, I come from a small town in northern Illinois. And I used to think of rural America as uh, quaint and fun. 
And if you're driving by an old gas station, you want to go in and see what they got in the barbecue uh, rotisserie, you know, that was all kind of fun. And then I saw Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and I was thinking, oh, holy shit, I wonder who's, uh, who's cooking in there. And uh, so it completely frightened me of, uh, to rural America. It really bothers me when they start saying things like, this movie is about Vietnam. This movie is about the, de the degeneration of the American family. No, as Toby Hooper said, this movie is about meat. As Freud said, sometimes a cigar is just a cigar. And I think that about the original Chainsaw movie. Uh, it's a great horror movie. It is not necessarily a comment on American society. I, I don't think I would return to um, direct uh, another Chainsaw sequel because I did mine my way uh, in a time where I could be uh, uh, have artistic control. Uh, so uh, I need to I need to go for.